There's an internship opening here, and I jumped on it, and it actually sent me up to Washington, D.C. to go to the archives, and I was lucky my father was working out of D.C. at the time, so I got to stay with him during the summer up there, and ride the Metro, and go to the Smithsonian, and it was just a great adventure. And I uh, got to know the people here at this little museum, and just really fell in love. If I could stay on as a volunteer and with my college courses, that mostly meant summertime or weekends, but I stuck around. And then one day, um, to make a little money on the side, a job opened in the gift shop, and I took that. And then an uh, opportunity opened up where I could help with designing the, um, the temporary exhibits, the rotating exhibits. And I jumped at that one too, and that got me back into my artistic and research side of things. And it just was really fulfilling and a lot of fun. And it was great to see my finished product on the wall and know people were looking at that. And I had a, a, a hand in it. And then one day the director of education and volunteers retired, and I applied and I got the job, and that was 10 years ago. And I just absolutely loved it, going to schools, making the programs, working with volunteers. But then I started seeing there was a side where we needed funding for the museum, we needed to be advocates for the museum, and our director at the time was getting close to retirement. And I saw that there was really a way I could help the museum even more. And that's when I decided I wanted to become an executive director, really make things work and really help those that would come and work with me.